Full ceremonial honours have been given to the full-time national servicemen who died recently battling the Henderson Road blaze. Rain and tears flowed freely as the funeral marks the first time a firefighter lost his life in an SCDF operation. Aslam Shah with more. An alarm that's usually sounded to call fire crews to an emergency. But on Tuesday morning, it was heard across all 23 fire stations in Singapore, symbolically sending Sergeant Edward Goh on his last call. At the SCDF headquarters, over 300 officers bowed their heads in grief, observing a minute silence for the 19-year-old. We will remember Sergeant Edward's selflessness, professionalism and commitment. For those of us who knew him personally, they will remember how proud he was to be a firefighter. Sergeant Goh's loved ones gathered at a funeral home to pay their respects in the final hours of his wake. Friends, family and colleagues stood in unison to sing a hymn before reciting a short prayer in memory of the teenage firefighter. After draping the national flag over the casket, they gave a final salute before the procession made its way to the Mandai crematorium. There, the casket was loaded onto an SCDF hearse for its final journey. A light fire attack vehicle led the funeral procession through the rain, along with an escort and pole-bearing party. They included full-time national servicemen who fought the fire alongside Sergeant Goh. About a hundred SCDF officers lined up amid the downpour. The sound of the rain beating down accompanied the sombre tunes of the Singapore Police Force band as his casket arrives at the service hall. Sergeant Edward Goh enlisted on the 5th of January this year and had responded to more than 20 fire and rescue incidents since then. The fire that took his life was at a Henderson Road flat. Dozens from the same block were evacuated and could not return home for hours and some families were temporarily relocated. Preliminary investigations revealed that the cause of fire was from an electrical source in the bedroom. A probe into the firefighting operation that led to Sergeant Goh's death has begun and the findings will be made public.